First of all, I would like to express my profound gratitude to Interpol and the Government of Canada for organizing the workshop. I would like to convey my sincere appreciation to the organizing committee for the excellent arrangement. I would like also to thank the distinguished participants and the expert who we are traveling far across the region, from below home to acquire best experience and practice in order to create the effective mechanism to tackle terrorist activity in the ASEAN region. It is my honor to be at this important Interpol Forensic Workshop for Southeast Asia and the Pacific. The, that aim to support increased investigative resources, specialized forensics, capacity, uh, capability, and to improve information sharing among law enforcement agencies in the field counterterrorism. In this effect, I would like to share with you Canada updated progress of projects expressed in the summary report of the Fourth ASEAN Plus Canada senior official meeting on transnational crime consultation that was held on 11 June 2015 in Siem Reap, Cambodia. The consultation was co-chaired by Deputy Secretary International of Ministry of Home Affairs of the Republic of Singapore and Director of Capacity Building Program, Department of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Development of Canada. The senior official from all ASEAN member states and representative from the ASEAN Secretariat also attend the consultation. At the outset, the representative of Canada highlights that the ASEAN-Canada relationship is a top foreign policy priority to Canada. She emphasized that Canada would continue to build on its security capacity building relationship with ASEAN. She highlights several initiatives that Canada counterterrorism and anti-crime capacity building programs are on the taking in collaboration with ASEAN and its member state. Project will be delivered with Canada regional implementing partners such as the Interpol. United Nations Office on Drug and Crime, an international organization for my migration. At the consultation, Canada also highlighted the success of Operation Sunbird, which was the final result of the project activity in year one and allow for the testing of skill and knowledge through a larger scale regional exercise. Canada informed the consultation that the Singapore proposed project framework for capacity building against cybercrime in ASEAN, setup of cybercrime forensic 
capability has begun since February 2015, and it will implement until March 2016 by Interpol. Canada briefed the meeting on their three new proposal projects, namely one, improving border control to counter drug and precursor trafficking in high-risk area within Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos, and Vietnam, which will be implemented by the UNODC. This project aims to enhance the ca capacity of border patrol and control officer in high-risk, vulnerable area. Two, strengthen criminal justice responses to terrorism in Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Vietnam, which will be implemented by the UNODC. This project aims at enhancing criminal justice preparedness of Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Vietnam to counterterrorism and its financing in line with the objective and action plan set forth in the UN Global Counterterrorism Strategy and relevant UN Security Council resolution. And three pilot projects to strengthen travel document security and facilitate cross border movement and combat people smuggling in ASEAN, which will be implemented by the IOM. The proposed two year pilot project aims to contribute to border security and facilitate licit movement at the border of Laos, Thailand, and Cambodian Thailand border checkpoint. ASEAN member state express appreciation to Canada and Interpol for their support and assistance in training ASEAN law enforcement officers to enhance the investigation skill and hope that the activity could be expanded to cover a wide range of issues including fraudulent passport. The representative of Canada in her closing remarks reiterated Canada's commitment to exchange views with some TC on various transnational crime issues in the region. She looked forward to continuing the dialogue with some TC and to implement Canada's comprehensive program in the ASEAN region. Ladies, and gentlemen, Southeast Asia is undergoing a process of rapid integration. The establishment of ASEAN community in 2015 will bring the region's 630 million inhabitants together into one of the world's largest economic community and a strong regional trade bloc. Crimes such as terrorism, drug trafficking, and computer misuse have been rising faster than initiative of law enforcement. The success of ASEAN integration will be in part be determined by the creation of adequate safeguard against 
the accompanying new and evolving secure risk. Therefore, the right balance is needed on the national policy to eradicate complacency and corruption in the camp of law enforcement. Nevertheless, the Today Interpol Forensic Workshop, a joint initiative of Canada and Interpol, will support the following outcome. Fingerprint analysis, DNA, facial recognition, disaster victim identification, and digital forensic. Today, we as in participants are actually witnessing Canada deed, resource, and commitment by bringing selected cyber forensic officer from central specialized services to be trained in a one week specialized course in conjunction with their regional counterpart to share their expertise and receive instruction from subject matter expert at Interpol, dedicated Interpol Digital Crime Center Directorate and Cyber Innovation and Outreach Directorate House at this Interpol Global Com Complex for Innovation. ASEAN highly commands the aforementioned initiative of Interpol in Canada to purposely improve the capacity of ASEAN law enforcement in the field of counterterrorism. Now we are aware what Interpol and Canada have offered to ASEAN. How ASEAN sustained the generosity of Interpol and Canada for their advantage to protect its incoming integrated community is the matter that we in this room have to devote the full responsibility and the law enforcement action without illusion to timely neutralize the real threat of criminals before they do ear repairable harm to the ASEAN region. I thank you for your attention.